Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to study science class 4 lesson number 4. Classification of living things. As we have studied this whole chapter and we also have done some of its exercise on page number 39 and 40, 41. In our last video we left the answer question of this chapter. It is question number 3. Today we will do this question. Let's start. Question number one is, what do you understand by classification and why do you think it is important? Answer of question number one is, to put living things into a certain group and giving, and giving them scientific names is called classification. It is important so that it could be used all over the world. This is the answer of question number one. Question number two is name two mammals that live in water and its answer is mammals living in water are seals and whales. This is the answer of question number two. Question number three is name live invertebrates and that could be living in a garden. Answer of question number three is invertebrates that live in garden are butterflies, moths, flies, spider and dragonflies. This is the answer of question number three. Question number four is name three invertebrates that live in sea and its answer is invertebrates that live in the sea are crabs, jellies and sea stars. Question number five name three invertebrates that have more than three pairs of legs and its answer is Invertebrates that have more than three pairs of legs are scorpion, crab, and spiders. Question number six. What kind of insects live in a colony or group? Why is living like this useful to them? And its answer is some insects like bees and ants live together in groups called colonies each insect has its own job in its colony therefore it is useful for them question number seven which insect is a pest are there any in your house fruit flies are pests insects and if you have any pest in your home you can write it by yourself what are antenna why are they used for what are they used for and its answer is antenna are paired appendages which are used for sensing in insects this is the answer of Question number eight. Question number nine. Do all insects fly? Can you name some that do not? Its answer is no. All insects insects do not fly. Some insects that do not fly are ants, cricket, and li lice. Question number 10. Name some small creatures which are not insects. S say why they are not insects. Its answer is snail, spider, slugs, etc. are not insects. Insects have three body parts, head, thorax and an abdomen and three pairs of legs. Okay. 
but these insects uh, these invertebrates like snail spider slugs they have not three pairs of legs therefore they are not insects it is page number 45 find all of these invertebrates in the grid below which one are insects ab niche inhone ye table as you can do it by yourself i have done some of them like ant a n t ant next is b there is b w b next is snail this is snail spider this is spider earthworm this is earthworm this is beetle theek hai isi tarah aap this is the butterfly you can do it by yourself the remaining words today we have completed this unit 4 in our next video we will start from unit 5 allah hafiz